What's up, sis? Welcome to Women Alike Podcast. This your girl, Naquandra. It's Talk About It Thursday, and you already know we about to get into it. I hope this message finds you well today. I am recording this message. I have been uncertain on if I'm going to keep doing YouTube or not, but I'm trying to meet reach women all across the world. So we're going to put this on YouTube moving forward and on the podcast and on Instagram. And so I'm so glad you're here. I hope this message finds you well. And so today is a message of warning. Today is a message that I want you to take to heart and I want you to start examining your life to make sure you are not playing with the devices of Satan. I know we talked about this a little bit in the Set Apart a series, but today I want to go into depth into some things that I've been seeing on social media um, that is that is kind of drawing us in um, to fiddle and play with these devices and the Lord told us do not be ignorant of the devices of Satan but if we don't have anybody telling us what these things are we won't know what not to mess with right and I also have some scripture for what the Lord says about these things and what triggered this um conversation this conviction of me to go on and share this this week is um, my friend sent me a TikTok of this girl and she was talking about how she was scrolling on TikTok. TikTok, you know how we can get on TikTok and we just scroll and scroll and scroll for hours or we on reels and just scrolling and scrolling. I recently got back into that and I have to separate myself. I got to break up with text, with social media for entertainment purposes and stay on here for ministry and business purposes. So that is my intent. But so anyway, the girl was on there. And she was scrolling and scrolling and scrolling. She said she came across this video where the, a lady told her that in order to transform your dream that you need to say before you go to bed, I'm going to this land tonight and I'm going to receive a gift. And then when you wake up, you say, I went to this land and I received a gift, right? And she said, this is supposed to transform your dreams, give you control of your dreams or whatever. And she said the first night she had the dream, she um received a gift the second night she did it somebody stole something from her and so she got a little skeptical and scary about the dream and so i went on the lady's page and come to find out she's a psychic and in the comments the girl who posted the video she's saying well don't worry about me guys i'm i'm prayed up and i am i've been delivered and i'm a pa i'm a pastor's wife and then the psychic lady is saying i'm an ordained minister and i'm a pastor's wife too and da, da, da. and i'm just like hold on hold on everything is not as it seems because if we go to deuteronomy 18 10 through 12 the scripture says this is new living new living translation he says for example never sacrifice your son daughter or daughter as a burnt offering and do not let people practice fortune telling or use sorcery or interpret omens or engage in witchcraft or cast spells or function as mediums or psychics or call forth the spirits of the dead anyone who does these things is, de is detestable to the lord and it is because the other nations have done these detestable things that your lord your god God will drive them out ahead of you. So he says, do not participate in witchcraft, sorcery, interpreting wounds, any fortune telling and calling up spirits of the dead. And so this psychic, who does she consult? Spirits of the dead. And so you're taking advice from a, a, a psychic proclaimed Christian. You cannot be a woman of God um, um, involving yourself in those things. You cannot be a woman of God practicing these things. And I don't know about you, but the only gifts I want to receive is the gifts of the Holy Spirit. I don't want to, I don't, I don't, I'm not here, not trying to transform my, my dreams and, and messing in a realm that I can't see, nor do I understand. The only gifts I want is from the Holy Spirit. And so we have to be vigil vigilant in these things. We have to use wisdom and ask God to sharpen our discernment um, when we come across things like that. So we don't just blindly indulge in them. The people in the comments, some people were saying, oh, thank you so much for sharing this. I can't wait to try this tonight. And some people were saying, Oh my God, I did this and I had sleep paralysis last night. That's because you're playing around in a realm that you do not understand. Remember, if Satan does already has you, he is not going to come after you. But if he wants you and he wants you because you're serving the true and living God, he's going to play with you if you open the door. He's going to take over if you open the door. That's why I don't drink. That's why I don't drink because imagine a box with a lock on it. Imagine a box with a lock on it and a box without a lock on it. Imagine yourself as this box. And so I, if you drink 
and you're you basically are are a box open with the lock off of it walking around inviting any spirit to come into you and have its way but if you're covered by the holy spirit you're covered by the blood of the lamb your block your box is closed and locked because no weapon formed against me shall prosper and every knee will bow at the mention of the name of my god my father and so I don't drink because when you are inebriated, when you're out of your mind, you are not you're not aware of what's going on in the realm of the unseen. Maybe you can function in the natural, but in the realm unseen, how are you going to be discerning of spirits? How are you going to be discerning of devices if you are inebriated, if you can if you can barely function in the natural? You know what I'm saying? So that's why I don't drink because I'm not walking around here uncovered. I'm not about to walk around here with my door open for Satan to come in and play with me. I'm not doing that. And so when we get on TikTok, when we get on Instagram, when we get on Reels and we see these people making these magical, mystical things happen, we open ourselves up to this realm. And we're testing the hand of God, especially if we know better. Everybody, like today at church, he said, everybody want a popcorn microwave blessing. You want something to happen immediately. That's why this magical realm and this witchcraft and stuff is on the rise because everybody wants something now. Elon Musk talking about some, I'm good to go to hell because everybody else is going to hell. Monkey see, monkey do. Monkey see, monkey gonna burn too. Hell is real. That's eternity. Burning and suffer and fire and brimstone without the absence of God. We have his presence right now. So be grateful for that. Use this time now to serve the Lord. Now, if you are playing in witchcraft or you are playing in tarot card readings and 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 following angel numbers and and um i'm doing those chants and i'm manifesting this and i'm manifesting that i don't manifest nothing but the word of god that's what i want to see come forth is what the lord has for me and that's in the word of god not by my own imagination i'm not out here operating off of my own imagination because the heart is deceptive and so we say, God, unto it be your will. We say, Lord, you're going to be the light of my life. You're going to be the limp to my life. My, um, you're going to be the light to my lampshade. You're going to be the leader. I'm going to surrender to you because you know what's best for me. You know what's my beginning and my end. Not these spirits that y'all are playing with that are watching you, that's been following your bloodline, but you have the power to cut that off. You have the power to break that. Let's go to, to, to I told you guys some scripture. Let's go to two, 2 Corinthians 11, um, chapter 11, 14 through 15. And I'm speaking so harsh, not harshly, but kind of bluntly because I'm passionate about this. Because I'm passionate about your so about you getting mixed up in the wrong things. I don't want you waking in the, up in the middle of the night being spiritually attacked because you are in some, into some things that you don't you don't know. This message is just to to bring awareness to you and to alert you, to alarm you, and to warn you warn you to turn from anything that you may be indulging in that brings that does not, let's say that does not bring glory to the kingdom of God. You are a king's kid and so you have to act like it. And for the people in the back that says, oh, these things are good. This good thing is happening to me because I manifested this. This good thing has happened. I got a good tarot reading. They said I'm going to have a fortune. Or when I had that dream last night, they gave me a million dollars in my dream. Or it feels good to have sex outside of the covenant. Watching porn is good because I'm at least I'm not having sex and, and fornicating. Before the people in the back, 2 Corinthians 11, 14 through 15 says, But I'm not surprised even Satan disguises himself as an angel of light. So it's no wonder that his servants, his servants also disguise themselves as servants of righteousness. In the end, they will all get punishment and th that their wicked that their wicked deeds deserve. 
Satan is not dumb. He's going to make it look fun. He's going to make it look cool. Like a while ago when I used to watch scary movies, I used to tell people, I'm watching this movie so I can see what Satan got going on. Because all of these things that we see on TV came from somebody's thoughts. Somebody, some, somebody was shown these things and then they put it on TV. Just like you get an idea of what to post on Instagram, that idea came from you and you created it. These um, producers are influenced by something. Something is showing them these things that are going on and they are producing it and putting it, putting it in front of us and it's conditioning us to the point where when we see it in reality, when we see our niece playing with um, rocks and, wanna, and learning about chakras and, and want to burn incense and, and flickering these tarot cards, when we see our, our nephews singing about shoot a, kill a, shoot a nigga, kill a nigga, when we see our, our, our brother having sex with another man, when we see our sister having sex with another man, we think nothing of it because we've been conditioned to it and it's not that bad. But in the kingdom of God, the word of God says... Anything that does not bring glory unto him is, is, is abomination. It's detestable. And so our work here, our job here is to teach the truth of the word of God and to stand strong on the word of God. And not to be ignorant of the of Satan's devices. And, and listen, God is not trying to take anything from you. He is trying to protect you. Understand, we don't have time to sit here and fiddle and faddle and play. What Isaiah say, this is not tickle me Elmo gospel. We got to get out of that. And we just got to stick to the truth of God. No, you cannot have sex before marriage. No, you cannot drink. No, you cannot smoke. No, you do not need to be cussing. No, you cannot lay up with that man. No, you can't. I'm sorry, but you cannot understand that your body is a temple of the holy spirit and you are to keep it pure no you cannot cuss that girl out no you cannot cuss that man out no you cannot slash his tires for that you have gentleness gentleness diffuses anger you need to operate in gentleness look at your life are you producing the fruits of the spirit or the fruits of your flesh What's going on? Come on, somebody. We got to know better so we can do better. Because it's no more nobody did. Nobody told me. There's many of pastors. There's many teachers. There's many women. There's many women and men who have took, taken their time, who has dedicated themselves to sharing these truths. And so if you're on the fence today, I encourage you to surrender to God. I encourage you to seek God for yourself. If you got church hurt, I encourage you to wipe out everything that you once knew about religion and get into the relationship with Christ. And that's going to start by you surrendering. That's going to start by you getting in the book and reading the word for yourself. You got to find a church, the community that fits for you, not what fit for your family, because you're trying to change the trajectory of your family. You can't keep doing the same thing that they've done. This is about your salvation. And I'm about equipping you for your salvation, for your salvation walk, for this journey, because it is tough and it is lonely and, and it's going to take a strong woman of God. And you are a strong woman of God because you can do all things through Christ because it's he who has strengthened you. So when you accept him, you accept his strength. When you accept him, you accept his love. When you accept him, you accept his covering. Come on, somebody. You can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. So I'm telling you this because this walk is hard, but you're more than able because he's able. Revelation 12, 9 through 12, talks about the dragon and the serpent. And it says, the dragon was defeated by the blood of the lamb and by their testimony. It's my testimony that's carrying me. It's my testimony that gives me enough boldness to speak 
the true word of God because it is the Lord who has delivered me. He's the reason I have a testimony. It's the Lord who sought me through. He loved me when I thought nobody else. Did you know I, 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 I lived the majority of my life? Thinking that nobody really loved me and me not knowing how to love because I didn't have anybody loving on me. I had somebody taking care of me, but nobody I felt loved me. And I think parents forget that you got to love your children. We have to love one another because there's people who also still feel that they are not loved and love them in spite of what they look like in spite of what they've done to you that's the beauty of forgiveness that you can still love somebody in spite of what they've done to you you can still intercede and pray on their behalf in spite of what they've done to you but the word says that we are set free by the word of our testimony we have defeated the enemy by the word of the our testimony because when we hold on to that testimony and we look at ourselves and we're like i can't believe i was once so dirty i can't believe i was once so unclean and i was nasty and i did this and did that and the enemy gets in your ear and tells you that you're not worthy but you have the word of the lamb telling you that you are worthy and all that and more and that if you get up and share what you've gone through you'll help your brothers and sisters come out of the pit too and so I encourage you today to walk in your truth, to let go of the hurt of the past and walk into the fullness of God, walk into the fullness of God and in everything and every and every opportunity that he's laid in front of you, walk into it, God, so that you can be a blessed abundantly so that you can live a life of joy and peace because that's what he wants for you. And so that's why I get on here and I uplift and my goal is to uplift and my goal is to empower every woman that comes across this screen so that she walks into the fullness of everything that the Lord has for her. The woman that you see here today was not me a couple years ago. No, ma'am. No, thank you. I didn't care nothing about uplifting you. I did not care nothing about what you had going on. I was worried about me and it wasn't until I got tired of me till I realized that my life was not about me. And the Lord grabbed the whole of my spirit and I began to walk forth into the women, woman that he'd already molded me into being. I just had to get in position so that I could get in her footsteps so that I can walk into purpose and fulfill my destiny. And yes, there are challenges here today, but I can do all things through Christ because he who strengthens me as it is he who strengthens you so today sis i encourage you i i i warn you i urge you to look at what it is that you are indulging in don't get on this tiktok wave this witch talk wave don't get onto this instagram wave of playing with satan's devices getting your putting yourself in the path of unrighteousness you gotta walk that thing out girl and you gotta walk firm flat footed on all 10 toes on the word of God. I promise you, I promise you, the Lord will never leave you nor forsake you. He promised you because, and I'm promising you that because he has not left nor forsaken me yet. And I am a mess. <laughs> I am a mess. <laughs> So I encourage you to go forth in everything that the Lord has asked you. We don't we don't get a a microwave um chick hot pocket blessing. We don't we don't we don't get though that that's not how it works. It's not how it works. You got to do work within you. You got to do the inner work to bring up out all the nastiness and let the Lord use it for his glory. But which is be gone. I rebuke every principality in high and low places. I rebuke every witch, every warlock in the name of Jesus. If you are a witch, if you are a warlock or you are a voodoo doctor, whatever you call yourself, I need you to repent. Seek the Lord's face because he's waiting for you. And I know you know who he is. I've seen many witches and many and many um psychics. They tell me, oh, I know the Lord. I know who he is. You know who he is. You know he's greater than your master. 
Oh, let me tell you one more thing. Let me tell you one more thing, woman of God, especially for the single woman of God, like me. Listen, my friend sent me another TikTok, and it was it was a good one. The 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 pastor was saying that um she was saying that when you get into an unequally yoked relationship, come on somebody, and you the believer, you you have a father which is God, and the and the the unbeliever, your boyfriend, he has a father. And he's not a believer, so his father is Satan. And so, you know, when y'all come together and you go to each other's houses and he like, hey, I got to bring my dad over. He's talking about his natural dad. I got to bring my natural dad over. And just as his natural dad is welcome to come into your home, so is his spiritual father, Satan. And so you open yourself up. Being unequally yoked, you make yourself available. You mark yourself as a target. Hey, come play with me because I'm playing with this one. And this one is playing with Satan. So come on in. I rebuke that in the name of Jesus. Get into equally yoked relationships, somebody. That's a device of the, of Satan is being unequally yoked. You, it's enticing. I know he look good, girl. But if he don't serve the Lord, then he got to go. Because you're great, you you're destined for greater. And not to say he's not ever gonna come along, but it's not your job to pull him up. You can uplift him, but it's not your job to pull him up. It's not your job to do the work. At one point, I was trying to do the work for a man. No, you can't drink if you're gonna be with me. No, you can't smoke if you're gonna be with me. It didn't work out because I was trying to do the work for him. Yes, uplift and empower. But you cannot do the work. This is a warning. This is an urge. This is a call for you to, to dedicate, fully surrender to the Lord and turn from wickedness. Turn from anything that does not bring the Lord glory. Stop playing with Satan and surrender to God. I hope this message blessed you. I hope it uplifted you in your spirit. I encourage you to join the Purpose Place. That is my coaching and mentorship program. I encourage you to join the Purpose Place where we're going to walk in intention, shifting our mindset to purpose and assignment. Click the link in my bio to stay connected um, or in the description to stay connected. Um, make sure you are following this um, broadcast. Follow this ministry. Follow this message. <laughs> Send it out to a friend. Hit the bell so you can be notified when there's a new episode uploaded. And girl, I just pray that the Lord bless and, and, and bring an abundance of everything it is that you desire um, for, for you this week. So you go forth. You have a great week. My throat's hurting. <laughs> Glory be unto God.